I'm the Disc Golf Guy, and this is his video blog. Well, we're here. We're at episode number 100, video blog, vlog, whatever you want to call it. And uh, it's been a pretty amazing ride for you, hasn't it? Well, you're right. It has been an amazing time. I read a book about social media. I jumped on Facebook. I jumped on Twitter, YouTube, all of those, and instantly had created the Disc Golf Guy. Uh, people always referred to me as that throughout my uh, career lately, and so I just kind of took the name and ran with it. Here we are, a hundred blogs later, including even Japan, and uh, it's been an amazing ride, that's for sure. So with all that being said, what have been some of the highlights over 2010 and 2011? Wow, where to even start with the highlights? Well. Uh, one of the coolest things for me was finally, in uh, earlier this year, I upgraded cameras and I was able to give you more B-roll while we were doing interviews. I consider that a highlight. Uh, like I said earlier, I've video blogged from Japan. Dave Felberg and some others gave us some pretty good stuff from there. Uh, the Memorial, Kansas City, Worlds, uh, it's hard to pick. I've seen so many different things, amazing things happen at both AM and Pro Worlds and throughout the rest of the country. Uh, I think a highlight is really just getting to blog number 100. So obviously you got into this because of your passion, you love to play the game, you started such a long time ago. Is it hard kind of switching roles? It seems like you've really backed away from your play, but then instead jumped into more of a broadcasting and video blogging role. Has that been kind of weird for you? You're right. I have had a passion for the sport of disc golf. I've been playing it since I was like 12, maybe 13 years old. I was running tournaments by the time I was 18. But I finally realized, well, I'm not going to be a world champion. Oh, well, speed putting doesn't count. So I knew I wouldn't be world champ, and with that, I decided to take on more of a promoter role. Uh, being involved with unbelievable people like Disc Golf Planet, the PDGA, and then all of our sponsors. Uh, yeah, it's tough for me not to go out and play and be uh, competitive every single weekend, but I know I'm kind of performing a bigger task and a bigger role. Uh, that being said, on any given weekend, I feel like I can sometimes still bring my game, but it's, uh, it's only what it is and I don't get to practice, so I've just got to live with it. So what can we look forward to out of the Disc Golf Guy, Lifetime Disc Sports, Skyline, whatever stuff you're involved with, what can we look forward to not only in 2012, but in the next few years? Well, what we're planning for is going to be huge. I never expected it to get this big, but now here we are two years later, and I'm looking for hundreds of blogs and beyond. You're going to see increased footage, you're also going to probably see a shot of the week so that we can make sure you're, we're bringing you something every week. And then uh, besides some work with Disc Golf Planet, which is going to continue to bring you live broadcast, I'm also going to be working on a new project that should be debuting in a matter of weeks, and that's going to be called Smashbox. It's going to kind of take the best of uh, a handful of different medias, including Twitter, YouTube, uh, live audio broadcasting. We're going to kind of do a couple different things, and we're going to throw at you that way. We'd love to bring you live coverage everywhere we go, but since that's not practical, we're going to try and bring you Smashbox, so look for that. Well, and besides all of that, you've had amazing support these last couple years. Definitely want to thank everyone that's been out there and that's been watching and tuned in and, and checking out all of this action. We certainly hope that you've enjoyed it. Uh, we got to thank DiscNation.com, who is an unbelievable sponsor for the whole 2011 season. We look forward to more partnerships and uh, just an amazing time as we move forward. There you have it. He's the disc golf guy, and he's putting out.